Regenerative Community Establishment. One Community Weekly Progress Update, number 425. One Community is a 501c3 nonprofit organization. We are creating open source and free shared blueprints and resources, tools and tutorials, and do-it-yourself instructions for highest good living. Creating solution models that create additional solution-creating models in the service of all life on this planet. My name is G. Sable, and I'm the Executive Director of the One Community 501c3 Nonprofit Organization. One Community is bringing together people with the consciousness and the desire for the highest good of all life on this planet to build sustainable and self-replicating teacher demonstration hubs as a pathway to global sustainability. This is our May 16th, 2021 edition of our weekly progress update, and today's topic is regenerative community establishment. In the background of the video right here, you see seven different sustainable villages as well as the duplicable city center. Each one of those is a component of what one community is designing to build and that people will be able to come and experience and that we're open sourcing and free sharing. We're open sourcing and free sharing all the tools, tutorials, and resources and do-it-yourself instructions to replicate everything that you see there and so much more. And the idea is to create regenerative communities. Regenerative not just for the planet, but regenerative for the individual as well. The idea being to create an environment that is so supportive, so abundant, that people can come and experience that environment and feel themselves renewed. A holistic approach to living that provides a better way of living, a more fulfilled way of living, a more loving way of living, a more supportive way of living to create community, a community of people working together to do amazing things in the world, supporting each other and sharing the value of how can we create for the highest good of all life on this planet? How can we, we create a world that works for everybody? You know, and creating this amazing example of that. And so we put all this time and energy into explaining and working out the complexities of exactly what that looks like. What is the governmental system? What's the decision-making system of something like that? What does the housing look like? What does What is the most sustainable toilet that you can buy? What is the most sustainable shower head that you can buy? What is the most healthy food that you can grow without having it sprayed with poisons, or herbicides, pesticides, or fungicides? You know, how can we maximize the nutrition? How can we make sure that our environment is fun and enjoyable and enriching enough? How can we make sure that everybody within this environment has access to all the things that they would want to have access to even better than they would if they just owned a whole bunch of stuff themselves? How do we create collaborative access to things so that people have more toys and the fun things that they want in their life to play with, to enjoy, to uh, have access to, you know, so that if people want to start a pickup soccer game or they want to go jet skiing or they want to go motorcycle riding or bicycle riding or they want to play a game of volleyball or start an art class or a reading class or any of those things, how do you create a community that has all of that built into the very essence of what it is? That's a regenerative community for the soul, as well as a regenerative community for the planet. By answering the questions like, what is the most sustainable approach not only to food, energy, and housing, but what is the most sustainable approach to fulfilled living, to education, to economics, to stewardship, to true stewardship, like comprehensive stewardship of relationships, of our relationship to the planet, of our relationship to surrounding community, of our global relationships, working together as one human organism to create a better world for everybody, starting with one community, but really looking at what does one world look like? You know, how do we create something that would benefit everybody while not being dogmatic about it, while keeping an open mind, while creating something so that it can, can cater to the diversity of values and interests and desires that is humanity. And our answer to that is open source and free sharing regenerative community establishment. Open sourcing and free sharing the food, the energy, the housing, the fulfilled living, the, the highest good approaches to education, the economics, the stewardship, all of that together so that we can teach people how to replicate all of it as a teacher demonstration hub or all the, making it so that all the individual components are also open source and free share. So people can take what it is that they want, leave what they don't, take what it is that they want, build something in a completely different direction than they want to. They have completely different values. Maybe they're not interested in world change at all. Maybe people just want to eat food that doesn't have poison sprayed on it. Maybe people just want an education program that instead of teaching people, you know, what to learn, teaches people how to learn and how to maximize the learning experience so people can learn anything. 
you know, instead of teaching, uh, you know, just these specific deals, like bigger ideas and based on leveraging people's strengths and saying, okay, what is it that you love to do most and how can we tie the complete learning experience into that idea? You know, maybe people are just interested in the absolute most affordable approach or the most sustainable, you know, hand dryer, which we've done the research for that, or the least toxic flooring, we've done the research for that, or the most sustainable and least toxic insulation, we've done the research for that, or what is, or maybe somebody just wants an earth dome, or maybe somebody wants a shipping container house, or an earth brick house, or a cob house. We've designed villages for all of those, and we'll build each one in open source and free share it, try, try to create something for everyone, and creating one community is a place that people can come and visit and experience all of those things in one place, and everything that they look at is open source and free share. A regenerative community established for the purpose of replicating itself around the world and working as a global cooperative, a global collaborative, to create even more, to create a sustainable world within our lifetime. This is what one community is about. And regenerative community establishment, if we can make it easy enough, affordable enough, and demonstrate it's attractive enough, we see it as a pathway to global sustainability within our lifetime. A viable pathway because it will become self-replicating. Easy enough, affordable enough, and attractive enough to become self-replicating. Establishing the path and then letting human ingenuity and human creativity do the rest. This is how one community is creating a sustainable world and regenerative uh, community establishment that will provide something for everybody, everywhere. Instead of putting a Band-Aid on problems, creating solutions and solution models designed to create additional solution models, communities designed to create additional solution communities to spread around the world and better meet the needs and to, to address simultaneously the greatest challenges of our generation, generations to come with an open source model. This is how we're doing it. So if this is interesting, if you like what we're up to, visit our website, check out our uh, weekly progress update blogs for everything that all of our volunteers have created in the last week. Uh, stick around for a couple more minutes for bullet points on each of the major components of our project. Uh, visit our website if you'd like to see the details and specifics of all the open source content that we have created and that I've talked about and so much more. And uh, yeah, until next week, we will, of course, keep on keep it on. Thanks. The one community approach to highest good housing is eco-artistic home building that is affordable, sustainable, do-it-yourself duplicable, resource and space efficient, and consists of seven different sustainably constructed village models. One community is also creating an open source duplicable city center. It is designed to be LEED Platinum certified, provide 12 guest rooms, dining for over 150 people, and laundry and recreation space for over 300 people, all while saving money, time, space, and resources. One community's approach to highest good food is duplicable almost anywhere, scalable for different needs, more biodiverse and nutritious, part of forwarding a global open source botanical garden collaborative and includes nine different free shared and duplicable growing environments. The next component is High's Good Education. This component is complete and pretty much ready to launch once we're on the property. One community's approach to High's Good Education is designed for all age groups, adaptable to any schooling environment, inspiring and fun for all participants, includes national standards, all subjects, lesson plans, teaching strategies, learning strategies and tools, classroom design, and more. The one community approach to highest good society is globally focused, individually enriching, cooperative and collaborative, includes a highest good network and application, four different economic models, and combines fulfilled living and true earth stewardship for the benefit of all people and all life on this planet.